Well, howdy. Well, howdy there. A lot of people been asking me a lot of dang questions now. I just, uh, I can't help but, uh, give, have to give you the answers because I, because I got them. That's the way it goes, you know, like when you got the answers to questions a lot of people don't got the answers to. You got to, you got to help them out, and I believe that truly, that you got to help them out. So I've been having a lot of questions sent to me about uh, theory of relativity. Now that there's an Einstein thing, and I've done studied a lot of books about it, and uh, I just like to make it clear to everybody, easy to understand. People say I don't understand that Einstein guy. He's just too complicated and smart for me, but but somehow I'm still interested, you know. And that's the thing is that so many things are, are too damn complicated for the people to understand what they're all about. So this relativity thing, I figured I'd, I'd shed a little light on it for the folks out there what needs to know how uh, the, the easy way to understand it. Okay, so I, I'm going to start with a real simple example. Let's say uh, relativity like that means everything's relative. Okay, that means how something relates to something else and to do with relations, right? Now, uh, the best way I can explain it and keep it simple is that, um, well, there's like two things. Let's say you got two things in the floating around, right, kind of in the air or somewhere or wherever they are and uh, one of them compared to the other one how it sees that or like how you look at that it different compared to where you are so like if you're looking at me from behind you just see the back of my head but you can't figure okay well there's a guy with no head or he's got the back, the back of his head that's all he's got because that's all relative to where you're standing. So you turn around and you look at me face on, you're going to see my face. So, okay, here's an example here, okay. Now, there, you see, I'm going to be looking real different to you from that aspect. Well, that's a big word, but from that uh, angle, from that point of view, that's relative to where you are, to where I am. If you're over there, you're looking at me, you're going to see this. But if you're over there, you're going to see this. <laughs> it's that simple really and like you know like another thing is like a you know size for instance like if you people want like big TV screens so they can see everything big right well my theory and I used this before the very very effective th way of doing it is you get closer to the small television if you got a small television you just get as close as you can to that television and you're going to have yourself a pretty wide screen and you know if it's too big you just move back a little uh, things are so simple that you d wouldn't even realize it you know like if I'm looking at somebody across the road there and they're like uh, I don't know a couple hundred feet away a couple hundred feet away or something they're going to look pretty tiny like if I put my hand up like that they're going to look like little bitty people and the closer they get to me they're going to get huge so, you know, like, it's all relative. Now you say, okay, well, this is real kind of uh, basic. Well, that's what I'm trying to do here now. The other thing, here's an example. For instance, uh, let's say you're watching a train go by or a car go by at about 70, 80 miles an hour. Okay, now, if you're standing like, you know, well, sitting whatever you're doing you're a long long way and off and the train looks real small well number one there's the illusion number one it ain't that small it's pretty big but you're a long way away from it so it looks pretty little and you say is it going by right way over there on the hill somewhere else. and it kind of comes along and there it goes you know there it goes the train it goes off down the hill there it goes and it's gone yeah, it takes a little while. Now, if you're standing, let's say you're in the subway, and one of them trains goes by, and you stand like that close to where the train's going to go by, like not touching it, but just 
just about. Don't want to have nobody hurting themselves getting too close to trains. Trying out my theories here. So now, so you get like a couple of feet away from the plat on the platform there from where the train's gonna go by, and that's gonna go flying by you, boy. You're gonna feel the wind from that thing, and you're gonna think, man, that thing's flying fast. If you look straight ahead, you can't focus on nobody in the train. It's just a big blur. See, it all depends on where you're standing. So, that's about as simple as I can get with the theory of relativity for you. And uh, I could expand on this a lot more, but I want to save that uh, for maybe an, if you have some questions you want to email me or ask me about. I'd be sure to explain it. Bob Science Shop. That's basically what it's called. I don't got an email. like I got an email, but I don't got like a... What do they call it? They're a website for it yet, but you can get a hold of me. You got any questions you, you don't understand, you need simplifying, you can call Bob Science Shop. Well, email me. Don't call me. I don't even have a phone I, I, out here. Can't say it's where I am because sometimes the things that I explain to people is secret government stuff, and uh, I can't go there. I can go there, but I can't tell you where I am. They, they'll come get me. Well, I'll have to play things safe. Thank you for your time. Hope you learned something.